Hello, I'm Rob Clark and I'll be demonstrating how I install a Rick McLean's Designer Bathware Shower Screen to help guide you through your required installation. I recommend that you also refer to your installation instructions as extra guidance. If you require further assistance, please feel free to contact our office on 1300 662 221. We highly recommend watching this preparation video for safety precautions, helpful installation tips and warranty information. Click the link on the screen. Before we commence, I would like to reiterate the absolute importance to check, measure the minimum and maximum measurements, ensuring your Rick McLean's designer bathware shower screen will fit the required area. I also advise to check the levels throughout the installation process. Thank you for selecting a Rick McLean's Designer Bathware product. This video will guide you through the installation of the Onyx Slider Shower Screen. Step 1. Level and Measure Ensure that installation occurs with a level base or shower area and pack if necessary. Measure and mark your shower base or shower area by referring to your minimum and maximum measurements, ensuring that your selected screen will fit within the desired area. The minimum and maximum measurements for this shower screen is as follows. Step two, mark, drill and fix wall profiles. Using a level, Position wall profile against wall at desired measurement within the minimum and maximum measured area. With a pencil, mark the pre-drilled holes inside of wall profile. Remove wall profile and drill a 6mm hole. Use a masonry drill bit if drilling into tiles. Insert wall plugs provided. Using screws provided, fix both wall profiles to wall, ensuring wall profile is level and fixed tightly to wall. Step three, construction of front section. Connect top rail to fixed panel using screws supplied. Repeat process by connecting top rail to bottom of fixed panel. Connect adjusting profile to both top rails using screw supplied. Insert glass clips to leading edge of glass fixed panel and fix to top rail using screw supplied. Place glass clip screw caps onto the glass clips. Place fixed panel front section into wall profile but do not fix yet, adjustment may be required. Step four. Construction of side panel. Connect corner profile to the leading edge of fixed panel and fix by drilling three equally spaced 3.3 millimeter holes on the inside of screen and secure with screws provided. Please note the leading edge extrusion of side panel is thinner than the extrusion section that inserts into the wall profile. Place side panel into wall profile. Do not fix to wall profile adjustment may be required. Step five, connecting front section to side panel. Connect fixed panel front section to corner profile side panel and fix by drilling three equally spaced 3.3 millimeter holes on the inside of screen and secure with screws provided. Step six, attaching rollers to door. Work out which way the door will close Top rollers are fixed and adjustable, and bottom rollers are spring loaded. Attach the top rollers to the top outside of door. Make sure that the screw adjuster is facing down for later adjustment. Replace rollers cover plates to inside of door. Please note, ensure that plastic washers are inserted correctly, avoiding metal and glass making contact. Failure to do so will void your warranty and may cause glass to break. Attach bottom spring-loaded rollers to the bottom outside of door. Hang the door on top track by inserting top rollers. Depress bottom rollers under bottom track, ensuring door slides correctly and closes flush to the side panel. Please note, to adjust door, Use a Phillips head screwdriver 
turn visible screw left or right on top roller allowing the door to lift or lower. Ensure the door is aligned against the side panel. When one of the top rollers is adjusted to its maximum and the door still doesn't close squarely, stop adjusting roller to avoid damage and begin to adjust other rollers. Step 7. Attaching water seals. Using hand pressure, press the fixed panel water seal to the fixed panel vertically. Using hand pressure, press the door water seal to the rear of door vertically. Step 8. Attaching handle. Separate handle from knob and bottom mount. Insert the knob thread through plastic washer, then through glass. Add the aluminium washer, screw knob into handle, repeat process with the thread of the bottom mount. Tighten both top and bottom mount. Please note. Ensure all washers and grommets are inserted correctly, avoiding glass and metal making contact. Failure to do so will void your warranty and may cause glass to break. Step 9. Adjusting and fixing off. Ensure screen is level and square. Adjust and move panels in or out to suit your shower base or shower area, ensuring all sides are level and straight. Fix front fixed panel and side panel to wall profiles by drilling four equally spaced 3.3 mm holes on the inside of screen and secure with screws provided. Fix corner profile to the front fixed panel by drilling four equally spaced 3.3 mm holes on the inside of screen and secure with screws provided. Using thumb pressure, attach the screw cover caps to the heads of screws internal of screen. Attach the cover caps of wall profile to the top of both wall profiles. And attach the cover cap of the corner profile to the top of corner profile. Step 10, sealing. Ensure screen is operating correctly and adjust if necessary. Using recommended bathroom purpose silicon, apply a fine bead of silicon vertically and horizontally on the outside perimeter of screen only, sealing your shower screen. This will prevent water from leaking out of your screen and will allow water to effectively drain back towards outlet. Do not use shower for 24 hours allowing silicon to set. Do not use silicon internal of screen, doing so will void your warranty. Thank you for selecting a Rick McLean's Designer Bathware product.